unleashing the godhood of Christ iti book iti John. In the portion iti study tayo concerning the deity or kinadius ni Christ Jesus since we are iti panawen nga uh, adong iti panakaawat no sino ni Christ Jesus. For actually some people would say that he is just a man. Some people would just say that uh, he is just an ordinary teacher. But the Bible would speak that he is more than just a man or just ordinary preacher. The Bible says he is God who became man. And uh, that was the presentation of the book Iti Jan. So when you try to study the book Iti Jan, I told you last time, uh, the book of John was intended to highlight that Christ Jesus is the Messiah, the Mangisolakan. And at the same time, the book of John was intended to present Jesus as also God, man. So that was the purpose why the book of John was written. Sabali mat di Matthew, sabali mat di Mark, Luke, and John. So when you try to explain the whole book, it is John. Laglagi penyu jadi tema na. The tema na dah itu yang book kat it is to present Jesus as the real Messiah, and he is. The, he is called, he is uh, also God who became man. So that it may sang alaglagi pun you when you try to study the book of John. And I also, I am also aware and I understand that some verses are being misunder, mis, uh, misexplained. Uh, it is being misunderstood by a lot of people in the book of John. May sanga kanain nga may singsingir kan may pipresentar dito is the book iti John chapter 10 verse 30. Dito statement na statement ni Christ Jesus nga kunana, I and my father are one. There is a bold statement coming from the Lord Jesus Christ comparing himself to the Father and claiming his relationship kiniyama nga kunana, he is one with him. And for some other uh, teachers, I understand that they would explain that thing. Um, iti pangguplan, iti panunot, iti plano, isulang iti pagmaymay sanda. But when you try to explain iti John chapter 10, you will be just so shocked to saying, um, haan lang at ibagbaga na kat iti panggup, iti plano, kan iti panunot, kan iti intensyon. It is more than that. When we try to explain verses in the Bible, we do not just get one verse and try to explain it. As much as possible, do the best that you can. It is study. Nga biro ka noan niya tirasun na aping naisurat niya verse nga diya. Tap tumaawatam the reason why that verse was written. So di konak nga context, context, context. When you are assigned to study one verse, very important to go to the purpose why that verse was written, what is the situation around that verse. Haan ka lang nga, piliyan mo nga verse, then explain mo tika kaya't mo di verse nga di haan. You need to see the context and explain the context. Why, who, whom, what, nga naisurat na iti book iti John nga dito ay. Alright? In the book of John, dito iti ko na na dito yung John chapter 10. John chapter 10. Verse 30, I and my father are one. But I said, Ituloy mo di yung verse nga di ay, Tap mo maawatam, No apay niya ti pagtungtungtunga na di ay. Is it only referring to his will, Ti pang panggap, Iti intention, Or is more than di yung panggap in intention? Baka nga iti bagbaga na kat, It is referring to equality with God the Father. So, tuloy mo nga pa saan dia 31. Then the Jews took up stones, Again to stone him, in verse 32, Jesus answered them, Many good works have I shown you from my Father. For which of those works do you stone me? The Jews answered him, saying, For a good work we stone thee not, but for blasphemy, and because that thou, being a man, be makest thyself God. Usually, it may be still put in the verse nga rito, kat iti in the book in the John chapter 17, where verse 5, verse 1 to 5, where it is referring iti will iti Dios, nga iti plano ni Christ Jesus, kanti plano ni Jesus ama kat namay maisa. 
is separated in John chapter 17 because the context in John chapter 17 clearly it is referring to will, the equality of Christ and the Father iti panggap. Iti John chapter 10, it's more than the will ti bagbagana. When Jesus made a statement na kunana nga, I and my Father are one, there was a uh, radical reaction, negative reaction, iti panunot na kiti hudyo, nga kasusauna, because the audience dito ay kat nagiti maestro, iti kultura ti hudyo, they are the teachers, the teachers of the law, they are the judges of the land, han nga nang nang nagiti tatawang nga ragito, and they know what he and what Jesus is talking about. And when Jesus said, I and my father are one, these religious, religious leaders understood it well. Now, when he said that, he is talking lang it will. It's more than the day. They would like to kill him. Instantly, on that matter, on that blatant statement, a blasphemy statement that he said, I and my father are one, the reaction is, kill him. He deserves to be killed. And kuna ni Christ Jesus, for what reason nga kahit nakapatayan? Ada ka di itinaramit ko? Ada ka di iting kastak nga madim? And kuna iti sa uti hapo? Jesus, uh, dati verse 23, The Jews answered him, saying, For a good work we stone you not, but for blasphemy, and because that thou being a man makest thyself God. After presenting ni, after ng presentar ni Christ Jesus, that He gives eternal life, that a man who accepted the Lord Jesus Christ, who hear, who heard the gospel ni Christ Jesus, that they are in the hands ni Christ Jesus, and after He presented that uhan lang aja imana, but even kini God the Father, anybody who have listened, who have fully trusted to the gospel, the finished work ni Christ Jesus, the Aramidan na Jekrusiti Kalbaryo, and believing that He is the Messiah, kung ano niya po, even in the hands of the Father, kathaan nga may katisuna. So makita yung equality ni Christ Jesus in the area of giving eternal life and securing His people, and even the equality na kanidyo sama, securing also people who have trusted the Lord Jesus Christ. And now, mapangkaw ti 30, in ganda ti 31, here was Jesus, and here are the religious people. Unadagiti religious people, we will, we would like to stone you, and we like to kill you, not because of the ginapipintas ginaramin mo, but because of a blasphemy that you have said. What is the blaspheming in bagani apujus nga? I and my father are one. J blaspheming e bagbagan ang adi jay kat his father. Ni, ni Diyos Ama, kat isukat amana, and He is comparing his, Himself as equal with the Father. And that is a blatant blasphemy. Nukit kita ang tayo, iti panakaawat, konsursuro, iti hudyo. They fully understand that what Christ is saying, kat haan lang nga iti panunot. Haan lang nga tirik na. But He is also saying that in my position, Kini amak. And our status nga dua, kat we are all equal. Iti sangwanan titunggal may sa kada kami. Isong nga nagwala na gito eh. You man, you make yourself God. Laglagipan you. Calling God the Father is a serious blasphemy the time ni Christ Jesus. And only and the only person that has the right to call the Father Father is Jesus. They have a great culture of the land. And there was a culture that was being preserved kini Jesus Ama, kini Christ Jesus in the Old Testament nga nabangon daiti daytoy kultu daytoy kultura kan nasyon iti Israel nga di nasyon nga di nga Israel a culture will be born nga aywanan ni Apo Dios may anak ti kultura nga nudungtang ti chimpo nga may anak ni Christ Jesus nalakala nga mawatanda no sino ni Christ Jesus and one of the culture that prepared Jesus Christ is the first born the first born ni Jesus Christ kini Diyos Ama nga kayat na nga sawan ti kultura da 
the father and the son in the culture of the Jewish Jewish tribe and nation get equal the it is on one arm it is used. So nga iti unag iti pamilya ay ito iti haan nga mawatan iti karuan. Don't you ever ever try to explain iti sonship ni Christ Jesus in the culture ti gulot kan iti American or any any tribe di ti lubo. Because ag sabali ti kultura ti gulot kan ti ugali kan kultura iti hudyo. The culture of sonship Kan fatherhood ni Diyos Ama, iti kultura ti unag tibalay, ti umuna nga anak iti balay, kan kastamat iti ama iti unag tibalay. Iti kultura ti hudyo, kat it is a culture that talks about equality of power, or equality of authority, iti unag tipagtangan. Iso nga laglagi po nyo di jay. Haan yung mga mabaling nga explain iti kina iti panagbalin nga anak ni Christ Jesus iti panangibaga na nga I and my father in the culture of Igoro tanu ko na mga explain mo diya iti kultura tayo sino tinangat nga ato iti kultura tayo iti unag tibalay jay ama ka di no ti anak siyempre amu tayo diya kada tayo nga Igoro ka na Amerikano ti unag iti balay kan ti unag iti tituray kan panakabalin ti unag iti balay ti ama nam sabal iti hudyo iso nga dayta ti panunutan tayo iti kultura ti hudyo daytoy relasyon nga fatherhood kan panagbalin nga ama ama kan panangibaga na nga ama kan panangibaga na nga isuna kat anak that is not a title of lowering himself kini Dios ama haan nga titulo da jay nga panangibaba kini Christ Jesus. In the culture, that is a title, iti kultura, iti hudyo nga, a culture that speaks of equality, of power, and authority of Jesus and the Father. Isong nga ilan sa'yo na ito, iti panunot, kan puso kong panunot yun. Haan nyo, nga mabali nga baliwan na dyan. Jewish, Jewish tribe and nation, Equal da it is on one arm it is used. That is equality in the sight of the Jews in their time. That is how you explain that thing of verse. You explain that in their culture. You explain it in the context. You explain it iti anya ti anya ti buu nga matung tung tung di jay. Is it referring only to will haane? It is referring to deity. So kung nada patayin yun ita, you make yourself God. By claiming yourself that you are the son and your and the father and God is their father, that is already too much. And sumarunupay, even you make yourself one with Him. Not only it will, it intention, it plano, but above all, it panakabalin. We could not accept that, my friend. You are crazy. That is the purpose. That is the context in John chapter 10. So when you explain that in the context of Christ's deity, han lang iti will. In the John chapter 17, you explain that in the context iti will na may may sada. There is a submission. There is a plan and there is a voluntary submission ni Cristo iti plano. Kanya matap mo matumpal ti plano ti panakay salakan. Nagbuluntary iso na. Na may may sada. And here is, here is a correction. Here is a clarification. Nga masapul nga maawatan tayo dito in John chapter 10. That when he said, I and my father, referring to a relationship in the culture of the Jews, equality. And when he said, are one, there is also equality in power and in everything. Nga noan niya, tiada ka ni Diyos ama, adamot ka ni Christ Jesus. Just for the sake, gami ti plano ti panakay salakan. Jesus, who is God from the beginning, the Creator from the beginning. Konana je binadal tay di last who was with God in the beginning, beginning, and He was even God at that very moment in time. Konati sa tiya po. Kat kuibaya kada kayo. They are one indeed in power and in all. Different person sa balin ni Jesus ama 
sa bali ni Kristo Jesus. But here at this situation, Jesus fulfilling the plan ni Diyos Hama na nagbuluntaryo na nga dati sakripisyo, nagbuluntaryo nga maagbalin iso na nga tao, may kaniso na tilasag. And here was Jesus telling to the people, the religious people, I and my Father, I am equal. Ito ti kultura tayo. And I and I and my Father are also one in everything and power. And when they heard they to the masters the 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 theologians of their times already understood that he was not referring only it will but above all he is referring himself equal with god the father and if jesus is a liar i tell you my friend god would never raise up a liar nga mga ala iti position of equality na parparehas but he rose up for what reason for what purpose to validate nga jay na ramid na jay cruci ti kalbaryo kan jay statement na to be father and son equality in the culture of Jewish times And he's the statement of being one, the equality, the godhood, da, the kinadjusta, pang nakabalinda. Ada kanya na, may may sada, nanyata da niya may sada, ada kanya na. That is proven and that is accepted by the Father. And that is the reason of the resurrection as a validation that whatever he said, even at, the, at this moment in time, it is true. And if Jesus is true in the context kat makay salakan ni Suna, you could rely your eternity kanyana because He is God who is able to save a man who is repentant of his sin. And you can trust Him, my friend. How can you trust Christ? No tao lang is How can you trust Christ? Can inagan mo it is imbam itinagan ni Kristo and you believe that he is just a man? That's irony. Agbalbaling at is imbam no kasay kat simbahan ni titao. But I believe that he is the Christ, securing every believer in his hands, equal with the Father who also secured us iti iman a double security. And that's what he has t- stated. He is the Son. At nangasawan, equality to the Father. And they are one in power. And for that reason, you can trust Him. God bless. God bless.